Now we will discuss Broca's aphasia. Aphasia is basically the inability to understand speech or to produce fluent and coherent speech. So it is the inability basically to process speech. Aphasia occurs due to some damage which is done in that particular area of the brain which deals with language processing. There are different type of aphasias. One is fluent aphasia and the other is non-fluent aphasia. Looking at Broca's aphasia, Broca's aphasia has been named after Pierre Paul Broca, a French physician who has discovered this area of the brain in 1961. Now, this aphasia deals with patients who suffer from uh, the fact that there is a damage on the frontal lobe which is basically on the left side of the brain. This aphasia which is Broca's aphasia is also non-fluent aphasia and considered as expressive aphasia as well. So now we will look at certain features and characteristics of Broca's aphasia. A person with expressive aphasia will exhibit effortful speech. Speech generally includes important content words but leaves out function words that only have grammatical significance and not real world meaning such as prepositions and articles. This is known as telegraphic speech. The person's intended message may still be understood but his or her sentence will not be grammatically correct. In very severe form of expressive aphasia which is Broca's aphasia, a person may only speak using single word utterance. Typically comprehension is mildly to moderately impaired in expressive aphasia due to difficulty understanding complex grammar. The speech of a person with expressive aphasia contains mostly common words and that we have already discussed such as noun, verbs and some adjectives. However, function words like conjunctions, articles and propositions are rarely used except for and which is prevalent in the speech of most patients with aphasia. The omission of function words makes the person's speech agrammatic. A communication partner of a person with aphasia may say that the person's speech sounds telegraphic due to poor sentence constructions and disjointed words. For example, smart, good, good and so on. <coughs> Self-monitoring is typically well preserved in patients with Broca's aphasia. They are usually aware of their communication deficits and are more prone to depression and outbursts from frustration. Word comprehension is preserved allowing patients to have functional receptive language skills. Individuals with Broca's aphasia understand most of the everyday conversation but higher level deficits in receptive language can occur because comprehension is substantially impaired for more complex sentences it is better to use simple language when speaking with these kinds of people a typical patient with Broca's aphasia will misinterpret the man is bitten by the dog by switching the subject and object to the dog is bitten by the man people with expressive aphasia can understand speech and read better than they can produce speech and write. The person's writing will resemble his or her speech and will be effortful, lacking cohesion and containing mostly content words. Letters will likely be formed clumsily and distorted. Although listening and reading are generally intact, Subtle deficits in both reading and listening comprehensions are almost always present 
during assessment of aphasia. Severity of expressive aphasia varies among patients. Some people may only have mild deficits and detecting problems with the language may be difficult. In most extreme cases, patients may be able to produce only a single word. Even in such cases, overlearned and rote learned speech patterns may be retained. The most common cause of expressive aphasia is stroke, which is hyperfusion or lack of oxygen. Expressive aphasia occurs in approximately 12% of new cases of aphasia caused by a stroke. In some cases, expressive aphasia, which is Broca's aphasia, is caused by stroke in the Broca's area or the surrounding vicinity. Broca's area is in the lower part of the premotor cortex in the language dominant hemisphere and is responsible for planning motor speech movement. To conclude, Broca's aphasia is aphasia of language production which occurs due to damage in the left hemisphere of brain and affects the speech ability.